Welcome to What's Brewing. I'm Mark. In today's episode, we're sitting down with Maddie Conrad, Miss Louisiana Collegiate USA, for part one of her interview. But before we get into it, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful B-roll. Maddie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. For, uh, for people that might, might not be familiar with you, tell you who you are and what you do. Uh, so my name is Maddie Conrad. I'm from right here in Broussard, Louisiana, and I was recently crowned Miss Louisiana Collegiate USA. That's amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So, I, of course, with the uh, pageants and stuff like that, how did you get involved or start doing pageants? Um, so I didn't start competing in pageants as like an adult until fairly recently. I did a couple as a kid. It wasn't really my thing at the time. I was into dancing. I danced competitively for a little bit. Um, so I was kind of focused on that and focused on my singing. Um, and then about a year ago, I decided to compete in the Miss Lafayette pageant. And I did not expect to get first runner up. I had so much fun. I made so many, so many friends. And it was probably the first thing that I've ever done um, where I didn't win, but I had the time of my life. And I was like, I want to do this again. This was amazing. This was so much fun. It was such a great experience. And so I did a couple local ones in Lafayette. I did um, some around the Baton Rouge area. Um, they were a lot of fun. I've met so many amazing people. And back in August or September, I won Miss Louisiana Collegiate. And I get to compete in North Carolina in July, uh, South Carolina, um, Greenville, South Carolina. I'm so excited. Um, I've already met so many people through it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing with it. Well, that's amazing. So you, you found out in August, it was August, September, you said? Yes. That's when you applied and you yes. found out. So what was, what, what was the selection process like for that? Um, so for the preliminaries, it's all application based. So all resume, um, based and based on your headshot, there were a few of us that had applied and um, I was the one that was selected. And so once we get to South Carolina, it's pretty much all pageant, the same structure as any pageant that I've ever done. So like the interview, swimsuit, um, evening gown, and they give us about a week. We have to go for a week. Um, they'll take us all around Greenville. Um, we'll do rehearsals, kind of like what you see. I know you were talking about Miss Congeniality earlier. I love that movie. It's a good movie. Such a good movie. I've seen it 50 times. Um, but they do kind of something kind of like that. They'll um, let us all hang out um, and just have fun the week before the pageant. That's awesome. So if they were to ask you a question like, uh, what is your ideal date? What would your response be? <laughs> April 25th. <laughs> just like in the April 25th because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I, I really hope uh, everything goes well. It's Thank definitely you. Gonna be a unique experience. You Thank know, you. it's definitely something new. Um, and so I, I, I'm really excited for that, but I also know the end of the Astro seasons just came. It did. And you've been singing uh, the national anthem over at Minute Maid Stadium for, for a few years now. I have. So when did you uh, when did you start doing that? Um, so I've been singing since I was about 11 or 12 years old. Um, music has always been a very big part of my life. I've played piano since I was about three or four. I picked up guitar um, around 11 or 12, around the same time that I started singing. And I did a couple like local gigs all around the Lafayette and like surrounding areas like Agave, Legends, places like that. And whenever I was um, 14, I sent in a demo of me singing the national anthem to the NFL and the MLB, and I did not expect to hear anything back. And in 2017, I got a call from the Houston Texans, and they asked me to sing the anthem for their running of the Bulls 5K. And so that was like the first big national anthem mm -hmm. that I've ever done, and it was so much fun. And then about a year later, I got a call from the Texas Rangers in Dallas, and they wanted me to sing for a game. It was so much fun. I, that was probably one of the only times I've ever gotten nervous singing. I never really get nervous, but whenever you're on a field with about 20,000, 30,000 people looking at you, you're like, oh my God. But like ever since then, ever since um, I sang that one time, it's just been a breeze every time. I haven't really gotten nervous. Um, and so after that, I got a call from the Astros wanting me to do God Bless America and the National Anthem. And since then, I've been with the Astros ever since under contract. I'm not sure. Also, the, <laughs> the World Series champion, yes. uh, Houston Astros. Yes. 
So will you be uh, singing for them next year? Yes, I will. will. I'm very, very excited. It's really exciting. Yeah. And the, the thing a lot of people don't know is uh, at home, you might not realize this, the national anthem is probably one of the hardest songs to sing. It is. Now, what is one of the things that makes it so difficult of a song to sing? I would say the range of the song because you start off really, really low and then kind of halfway through the song, it gets pretty high. And so whenever you're trying to find a key to sing it in, you have to find kind of a happy medium because if you lower it enough to be able to sing the higher parts, you can't sing the low parts. And then if you raise the key enough to sing the low parts, you can't sing the high parts. So it's kind of about finding the happy medium to be able to meet that range in the song. Awesome. Well, um, I, I, I need to wrap things up for this one, but do you mind doing a part two? Yeah, awesome. absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. Well, that's going to do it for us here over at What's Brewing. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button, crush that subscribe button, and hit that little notification bell to keep up to date with videos that we produce. But until the next one, have a good one.